What is up guys? Dalkovich back again. With old team, I'm in Padlock vs. Poik97. Poik brought this uh Alomomola offense. <laughs> Alomomola bokeh offense or balance. How would you call this? And Padlock brought his own team. I think this is game one. Let me scroll up. I'm a bit too late. I had to do some stuff. Oh, it's 1-0 for Poik. 1-0 Poik. So it's already game two. Yeah, it's already game two. Um, this Ferrothorn, I thought it would go for spikes there. Oh no, it's, it's Stealth Rock. It's Spikes Gummery. Never mind, never mind. What am I talking? Still score is uh, SD, okay. Pretty sure Poig wins this too. No, that's a bit sad. Mm. The score roosts up on Feral Thorn. <coughs> I could see Poi going into Heatran. Actually, Heatran is kind of low. But he still makes the Heatran play. And nice double DC play from Padlop's side. Heatran th throws out a toxic, catches the Hadragon. As Poik, like Poik predicts that switch immaculate, immaculately. Mm. You see dog pulls from um, this is Scarf Dragon, right? Almamola eats that up. That did nothing. And I can see a wish coming here. Oh, it's called uh, probably a wish. Yeah. And how healthy is the we well? I can see protect or hard and the Yancy here. Hard the Yancy makes sense. What he just goes for protect, okay. On a Draco. Cause now he goes into the Yancy. I don't know why I didn't do that last turn. Okay. Is it HP fire? He's probably gonna protect if he has it, yeah. Gyro ball, yeah, gyro ball. And he's gonna go... Now, he turned as low. I don't know if he wa He probably doesn't want to go he turned. This is a bit of a tough turn for Poik. He could go Alamomola, maybe. Pivot around a bit, yeah, that's what I was thinking. My Jarabold again. Hmm. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Do we see a wish again? Or do we see Scald? Probably Scald, yeah. <laughs> I think I said it too late. <laughs> you already went for Scald when I said it right. I like this, um, like these bulky offensive teams with Alamo Mola because you can f pass fat wishes around. I saw it, something like this used in the World C in the World Cup. Uh, don't remember who made this. I think TTK makes teams like these, like but he had two or three different ones. It was Alamo Mola lady. I don't remember the rest, and yeah. yeah. Before I get the score burn, pedal up this GG and it's basically up. Yeah, it's over. Like this Alamomola was his entire team, but how healthy is the Jellicent? Jellicent is at 100%.
What do you mean was fun? You're not out yet. Yeah, losers bracket. Um, you're as good as ABR. It's okay, Petlop. You got losers bracket. Losers bracket. Technically, you are as good as ABR. CB is funny. As that fat wish gets passed to heat gen. Yeah. Couldn't he have gone to the Jellison and all the Momola? Nah, the problem with that is then he could have wished past around anyways. Uh. Yeah, I came a bit too late. Um. Let me check if I can see what I missed here. <laughs> if I go down, uh, then with my ladder team, never lets me down. Skull does nothing to the glass score, nice and spit death. He led with oh, the Yancy on the Earthquake list go, okay. He went to Ferrothorn and Poik all played him and doubled into Heatran. Lava Plume to Jellicent. Didn't get the burn though. Uh, and he Lava Plumed again and he burned the Yancy. Okay, this is. Well, po so Poi played aggressive at the beginning and it paid off. Okay, yeah, there's no reason to go through this entire thing. We just thought that Poi is definitely a great player. I heard Jambet said. Jambet thinks he's uh, one of the upcoming stars. <laughs> I don't remember what he said exactly. In like he uploaded a World Cup match where Poi played well, but he got hexed. He got Iron Head flinched. Um, Skliska got Iron Head flinched by M. Um, Excadrill. Um, Poi can just go back to other Momola here. Yeah, that is such an um, this might be Trosco's team. I've heard that Poik works together with Trosco or he gets help by Trosco. Oh, he goes hard rewild predicting the side shock. Oh, the king! Somebody stop him. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. He pursues the laddie. Is he going for the six? Oh, oh man. That's a poor padlock. I mean, it's it's he did well. Like this is ulti round five, and he's still in winner's bracket. And last round he used an RMT. That was funny. Versus Joyce Pex. Joyce Pex brought mono green. So sad that I couldn't record that. I watched that on my phone. LOL CBB is getting mad in the chat. He just used choice Bandit Pursuit. And Poik said why would I use life up? It's balance. This is not HO. <laughs> LOL CBB gets so mad. <laughs> Cause he uses choice Bandit Weaver. <laughs> I like Joyce Ben we were um But yeah I guess the problem is um, like CB said if you're locked into pursuit if they have SD Bishop or Belly Drum Azumarill or something then you are screwed unless you have something in the back to counter to counteract. Oh well Another wish gets passed off to Heatran. And Heatran taunts Jellicent on the Willow Wisp. And Poe goes hard rewild on a potential Scald. On a Scald. Does he get burned? He does not get burned. Dang. That sucks. Dang. And he pursues Jellicent. Gets that play correct too. Man, this boy's gonna 6 0 him. Why is he. 
Why is he going in so hard? I was like, at least let him kill someone. Oh, yes, he killed one one. Nice. No six. Oh, okay. Why am I saying like that? I wish I would have uh, seen his entire series. Um, Scarfer Dragon, can we get the flinch? Um, it doesn't matter at this point. I mean, I don't have anything against Poig. I'm, I'm fine with him winning. I just would have liked to see my man Padlop stay in winner's bracket. But it's, it's fine. They are both pretty cool dudes. As HP fighting and he clears off the Pharaoh Thorn. And the Skarmory. And Padlop is in um, ulti round 6, loser's bracket, and Poik moves on the winner's bracket. Oh god, what a savage Poik. He's definitely, um, besides ABR, Amfuga and Lefties. I mean, Amfuga and Lefties are the top favorites, in my opinion, to win ulti. And maybe Black Oblivion. Um, the thing is, I haven't, I haven't seen much, many games from from Black Oblivion, so I don't have an opinion on that. Um, but I, I've heard good things about him. Um, yeah, Boyk is definitely gonna go far in this tournament. Okay, this was all over the place. This was a bit confusing because I came late to this game. Um, hope you guys still enjoyed this. Have a nice day. I will catch you later with um. Some Sableye Suspect test lettering that I uploaded, I will upload, I will record. And I will try to catch um, Black Oblivion's old tea game later and maybe Sabella's game too. So stay tuned for that. Dockerich signing out. Have a nice day guys. Peace.